The Golden Allen! The I Kill You Scum Award. Variety's the spice of life, which ironically is particularly true when it comes to murdering people. This award recognizes those games that honor that maxim and make killing fun again, rather than a hollow ritual that started off out of pure morbid curiosity, but has now become a sick, unrewarding addiction that we won't quit until we're caught. Third place. We tried playing through this without killing anyone until we realized all you could do is choke people out or pump them full of sleep darts. So we jumped off a roof, stabbed a guy through the head and turned him into ash, then set a swarm of plague rats on another chap and just straight up decapitated another one, and then realized that playing any other way is just stupid. Second place. If you'd like to make Absolution even more entertaining while feeling less guilty about murdering folk, replay the same mission over and over again, and imagine that your target is trapped in a Groundhog Day style time loop where he's fully aware he's just been assassinated and he's desperately trying to avoid the same fate and then just pushing down a hole or something safe in the knowledge that it's his fate to be killed creatively forever. Winner! We always thought that our dream of punching a leopard was over after receiving that lifetime ban from London Zoo but here's Far Cry 3 bringing fantasy to glorious reality. It's great to stab other humans in the heart or set them on fire but sometimes you want to do something that doesn't remind you of that backpacking holiday in Cambodia we don't talk about anymore like say jumping from a hang glider and resting an alligator or shooting a crab with a shotgun or blowing up a bear with C4. It's all shockingly similar to an idea we've got for a game reserved for the astonishingly wealthy. 